Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? It's been a couple of days since I made a video for you guys. Um, last video I made was on my way home from work. I got pulled over by the cops for some BS. So just to finish that off, if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But to finish that off, I do have my car back. I went and got it back the next day. $175, just a little money game, money grab. Tow truck company was very cool, but once again, I went and took care of everything and all they done was give me a printout and said, you're clear. Now y'all, before I get into this uh, YouTube, smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Give your girl a share too. I mean, I'm, let me just go ahead and ask for everything ask and it shall be given that's a model that i use but anyhow y'all so i'm back driving and i got my decal officer levy so y'all i've been watching the conscious community for a little bit okay and if y'all don't know what the conscious community is it's supposed to be like black and definitely some white people that are woke you know what i'm saying they're woke to white supremacy they're woke to all types of racism a lot of things is going around on around the world that maybe a lot of people either just don't pay attention to or just don't care about right so there is a guy that i don't really know if he he says he's not a part of the conscious community however his name is always coming up so let me go ahead and get into this, Mr. Hassan Campbell. Now, some of y'all who be on YouTube, you might already be done, been on seeing one of his videos or heard of his name, but he's not even black. I think he's Puerto Rican, but he's from New York. And all of the conscious community is constantly putting him on blast. This is how I even found out about him. So the only reason why I decided to go ahead and do some content on Hassan Campbell is because this past Friday or Sunday, he decided to drop a video about us dancers, about how it's a daughter's prayer for him, uh, for fathers not to want their daughters to be dancers. And he's talking about all type of prostitution type shit that you don't even gotta be into to be a dancer. Just pretty much dragging us through the mud like how everybody else do. So, if you men or other people around the world that's uppity, if you haven't noticed that dancers are kind of taking over, like we are taking our dance platform and turning it into something else. Now me, I'm a little different because I'm, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm into acting now. Um, I really do love the pole, even when it has nothing to do with the club. And also, I have some music, but um, that's not what this video is about. We are taking over. Cardi B, for instance, Cardi B's killing the game. Um, one of my favorite dancers, Diamond the Body, she's probably gonna be signed soon. Like she's rising up. Um, Renny Rucci already signed. So it's like, I get a little bit sick and tired of hearing people talk down on us or say this and that. Now, I'm not saying that I, I definitely don't want my daughter to be a part of dance world, right? I don't want her to be into stripper world. But what I'm saying is for girls who are already doing this and having a plan to do it and doing it right and keeping it as clean as you can, that is nothing wrong with that, okay? So let's let's get back to old boy, Mr. Hassan Campbell. Now let's talk about him. Like I said, his video was about, you know, us and how bad we are, how we're like kind of the scums of the earth, just all type of stuff, right? And just to make things clear, us dancers, I'm speaking for myself, but I think I speak for most of us, we're not, we don't have a shortage of boyfriends. We don't have a shortage of regular friends. Uh, our families still love us. Uh, if you a hating female, your boyfriend still love us. So 
it's it's time to start stop all this hate and stuff. You know what I'm saying for the entertainers. So, Mr. Hassan, now let's let's talk about what he has going on. He is forty something years old, and he has been in jail a few times. But check this: his claim to fame is he was molested by hip hop which they say he's not really the starter of it, but whatever. Hip, the, the person who started hip hop, African Bimbada. That is Hassan Campbell's claim to fame. So he talks about how African Bimbada used to have a bunch of young boys at his house all the time. He's pretty much just bringing these young boys there. He's clothing them. He's paying for stuff. He's kind of like spoiling them or, or whatever, but they're underage, okay? African Bambada is not even supposed to be homosexual. At least he's never come out and said that. And he's only addressed a few allegations. He hasn't addressed Hassan Campbell's allegations. But y'all, like I said, I've been watching this dude as well as the rest of the conscious, um, conscious community. Hassan Campbell is not a rape victim from what we all can see. That was his boyfriend. If you go through his videos... He's constantly bringing up African Mbada. He's constantly wanting to play the victim. Not only that, he was raped a few more times before he got raped by African Mbada, right? Now, if, if there are any molestation victims that are watching this or rape victims, I am not victim shaming at all. That's not what this is about. What this is about is that y'all always... People are always looking down on dancers, whether they work a nine to five, whether they are um, working in a department store, whether they do hair, makeup, whatever. We are not scums, okay? We're human beings just like you. So why is it okay for this man to cut? Like, he's always going off on somebody, but it just so happens I caught his video the other day. He's going off on us. But you basically are only known for being raped by a big old grown ugly man that ain't even claiming you i'm gonna tell y'all what it sounds like to me what it sounds like to people who watch hassan campbell it sounds like african Bimbada really didn't molest him it sounds like they really were lovers because the way hassan speaks about him He's like always, but but he's still friends with the guy, okay? The guy raped him, he claimed, when he was like 12. Raped him up until he was like 15. He went to jail for a long time, got out of jail at about 30-something, and went back and actually done security for the guy that he claims that raped him. And the guy was buying him clothes and, you know, still pretty much taking care of him. So if you are a molestation victim, and you grown. Why would you be around the predator if that really was the situation? Okay. I was trying my best not to chime into this because the sign is one of those people that he just he can't take things that people say about him. But that is true, sir. All these videos that's coming out, I see it the same way. I see it as you're not a victim, sir. That was your boyfriend. It may have been statutory rape, but you were a ready and willing participant, not to mention you were raped by other men prior to this incident. His reasoning for being around African Bambada was that he didn't like his mom's discipline. So that's why he was over there. Y'all, this makes no sense at all. Now, y'all, if you don't know him, you're going to have to dig a little bit to see what I'm talking about and why. This dude is very addictive to watch. Um, he he does sometimes make a lot of sense. He talks about Takashi 69 a trial. He's talking about Jim Jones. He talks about everything. And he's built his fan base way up. But I think the pretenses that he built it on are totally something that no one would want that fan base. Okay. He online talking about us, but you done got screwed by a guy and you're acting like you're not even gay. He has about 10 kids. 
He has a wife. Um, but once you hear his story, y'all, you, you got to go back to like the first one. He was running around New York advocating for, you know, making sure Bambada, um, I guess, went to jail or got in trouble for it or whatever. But y'all, African Bambada is free. African Bambada, I think, is still running the Zulu Nation, if I'm not mistaken, because I had to look him up too and figure out. Because I'm, y'all, I'm, I'm a 80s baby, but I'm really not up on my hip hop or rap history like that. So I didn't have any idea that they felt like Bambada was the founder of, of, of hip hop or whatever. So I had to look him up too. He's still booking shows. Okay. He's still living his best life while Hassan has a big YouTube career. That's it. And is going on YouTube every day talking mess about somebody. Okay. So this is a simple message to uh, Hassan and anyone else that has an issue with the strippers. I don't like to call myself that, but stripper, dancers, entertainers, mind your business, okay? Worry about your own struggle. We cool over here. We got goals. We got plans. I got plenty of stuff right behind this camera where you could just see how I'm just trying to plan my life. Things go wrong like how I got pulled over the other night. That wasn't in my plan, but guess what? I move right by it. Every time I hit an obstacle, I move right by it. If you're watching my snap, you see me every day. I'm posting my spiritual number, 66. That that number means abundance, unconditional love, and um, just uh, overall just having faith. I'm going to keep that. I don't care how many videos come out about what I'm doing, especially when I'm already gradually trying to do other things. So all you stripper haters out there, mind your business. You don't want us coming to your job and saying, oh, my God, you're so low. You fold shirts for a living. Oh, my God. You... You know, whatever for a living. You you flip burgers or you work in a plant. You make tires. You make cars. Like, nah, get it how you live, but make goals. If you really want to make tires for the rest of your life, that ain't my business or nobody else's to say anything about you. But I will be the first one to say, dancers, we got to stand up for ourselves. We got to stop being so ashamed. You don't got to let the whole world know that you're dancing. That's just the avenue that I took because... It really wasn't a dancing thing to me initially. It more was about the pole dancing. And that's something that I do with my daughter. Not not all that twerking and stuff like that. but And definitely in different type of attire. But the reason why I promoted it because I wasn't ashamed of it. You know what I'm saying? But if we hear someone talking about our community, we need to address that. Especially when they have built a platform on something that's not so favorable in its own. Hassan mind your business also if you ain't gonna do nothing about african bambada stop talking about him because bro we ain't gonna move the, the black community or anybody is not going to move on doing anything to that man because pretty much at this point everyone can see that you guys were probably lovers and not victim and predator and that's the reason why i feel like bambada has never come out and actually addressed this dude at all they probably still talking on the low but y'all check check him out though hassan campbell um go leave a comment on his video since he loves clout he loves getting comments go leave a comment on his dancer video telling him mind his business and the next time he want to um talk about us go look at cardi b's numbers i'm, I'm gonna talk about somebody else who's already graduated from dancing go look at cardi b's numbers go look at what her gross income was for last year the year before and prior to that because cardi b's from new york too and um yeah stop stripper shaming out there y'all stop stripper shaming stop age shaming just worry about yourself that's that's jenny gang's message of today y'all once again hit that like button subscribe I do have a challenge going on on my Snapchat right now where I'm giving away a couple of cash apps for reposting my YouTube, but that's going to be done within a drawing. So follow my Snapchat, Snapchat at um, Jenny20's World, as well as the rest of my platforms, and I'll see y'all next time.